All right, welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome weekend and having a great day. So I'm just gonna put this video out there and maybe it'll cycle through to somebody who is looking on how to upgrade a snake enclosure for possibly less than 50 bucks and something that will work out very well for you and something that will last your snake for quite a while depending on what species of snake you are keeping. So let's go over the tub really fast. So um, this is definitely under $100. This could even be possible with under, under uh, 50 bucks. And if you can get a nice snake enclosure under 50 bucks, it'll save you time, it'll save you money, and then you have more money on more snakes. So this probably doesn't really work for baby snakes because, and this is just my opinion, I prefer to put baby snakes in very small tubs because I found, depending on the species, um, most of the time ball pythons and boas, they do very well in smaller tubs uh, that's more confined. You can control the humidity a lot better. They feel more secure and they will eat better for you. Now there are things you can do with this um, if you have a baby snake um, to make it feel more secure. But if you're starting to put hides all over the place in a bigger enclosure, most likely your snake is just going to use the hide consistently and you have to have a huge cage that you don't really need. And these are not expensive where um, the price is just going to keep on going up on them like a lot of the uh, PVC cages. So um, if it's a grow up boa or like a yearling boa, um, or ball python that's established itself very well. Berms, retics, anacondas, depending on size, this will work perfectly for you. So um, now is the, the time to buy one of these. These are four foot, um, they're called Christmas tree totes. You can get them at Walmart or Myers. Sometimes they have them at a uh, just a plastic um, store. If, I think it's called the container store. And most of the time, if you live in a major city, you will have one. But I found these last year for about 20 bucks. So the prices may have gone up this year with inflation, but I wouldn't see these going any more than 25 or 30. So you're 30 bucks in, or hopefully just $20 in on a nice enclosure. They do have a pretty nice top on them. I did cut holes in here for humidity. One thing that you do have to watch out for are the snaps. They are pretty fragile, but I've had some of these Christmas totes for two years. And if you're gentle with them, they won't break and then you won't have any issues like that. Um, so it is four feet. They're not that wide. They're about maybe 18 inches. So it's not, that's not the standard 24 wide like most companies would build. But it does very well, and I, I see people use this for berms and retics in adult boas. Now, if, I'm not going to get into if that's standard for what they're supposed to be in. I just see people use them. They have very healthy snakes. I do keep a two-year-old berm in here that's about three-ish, maybe four feet. So she still has plenty of room. Um, one thing to keep the cost down on the bedding um, if you want to spend a little bit more money, you can use RepuChip. It's about, you can find it at a local, um, reptile show for about 20 bucks. If you buy it online at Amazon or from RepuChip, it's about $30. They do have free shipping. So that kind of helps with the, uh, the added cost that they throw in there rather than getting a 20 bucks at a reptile show, but to save money. And I found that my berms and my anacondas, and I know my bigger boas would like this as well. I just went to, I believe this was Menards. I think Lowe's has this as well, I'm not sure, but it's just 100% pure cypress mulch. There's no um, chemicals in it, no dyes, and nothing to stain or um, hurt your animal. They're not as finely broken up as like the stuff that you'll find at the pet store. But if you have more than one animal, then this would be perfect. The whole bag is like $4. 
So for four dollars, you can pick out the huge chunks if you want to, because it is yard mulch. It's really not intended for snakes, but I've used this stuff for years, and I've never had any negative uh, side effects on it at all. So so far, we're less than thirty bucks. So so for the hides, just to make it cheap, and if you have a bigger snake or a snake that will be bigger, um, I would highly recommend getting a cat litter box. You can get these for $2, two, three, four dollars at Walmart, and then you can just cut a hole in the front, flip it upside down, now you have a hide that can hold a very good sized boa constrictor or berm or whatever you want to put in here. Um, I mean, this would even work for lizards possibly as well. So we got the hide and we're still keeping it cheap. So for the water source, uh, since the berms do like water, I'm just specifically talking about berms because that's what's going in here. Um, I just picked up another tote. I think these are five bucks, seven dollars at Walmart. If you guys want to get the, uh, I mean, you can go with any size, smaller or larger. They're not expensive. Fill that up with water. Fill that up with the, uh, um, the floor bedding, which I can do right now. And it is. Super easy. You can you can fill up as much as you want, as little as you want. It doesn't really matter. So we got the hide in here. Any way you want to put it, and then you just add your animal. So I will be adding the Burmies in here. Um, I do need to give her <coughs> water. She is in shed, so she doesn't look that great. So. I probably won't show her right now because of her colors are just kind of all dulled out and she just doesn't look that good anyways. But if you guys want to come back on a couple days on the next video when she is shedding out, uh, you guys can see her then because she's super bright and vibrant when she's actually out of shed. But like I said, I see people use these and hold five, six foot um, retics, boas, berms, and, and anything in between there and it just works phenomenal so we're under 50 bucks and everything is at Walmart and so it's just super easy super simple people don't need to make this complicated and if you don't have 180 bucks or $200 or more to get a PVC one and if you don't want to wait nine months or you can't wait nine months because you're going from a smaller container and you need something bigger quicker I would say do this. Uh, if you had the time, if you had the extra money, buy animal plastics, um, buy from anybody else that is uh, available with the PVC. Wait time is ridiculous right now on everybody. So this will work. Um, and then if you can even make um, custom wood shelving where you can stack multiple of these, I would buy multiple. So there are Christmas tree tests, they're only around for. Uh, for the Christmas holiday, which kind of sucks, but that's it. Um, I know most people who watch my channel own snakes, so they know how to set something up, but if you are new or if you're wanting to do something on your own, then if you find this, hopefully this helps and uh, stick around because you'll see all the other animals that I have in here growing up nicely. So I've, I have another one of these with an anaconda in it, not a big one. It's about a year and a half, so perfect size. The berm's perfect size, and uh, that's it. So hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video.